It's exam time, isn't it? In a few weeks, summer holidays begin, right? So what are your plans to engage your kids in a fun and learning way? Can we mix fun and learning together? It is important to make sure that kids stay creative during the summer holidays because we have two halves in our brain that behave differently. The right brain is creative and left brain is logical or intellectual. So in our academic time, when we go to school to study, we're actually nurturing our left brain. So these holidays should focus on nurturing uh, our right brain. Got it? But one thing very often we forget is we should also spend few minutes to revise whatever we have studied and also start studying the next year chapter in a fun way so that it doesn't burden you. But you spend 20-30 minutes every day to study the subjects in the next academic year itself so we are better prepared to face the next class. So when teachers teach us, things will become much more clearer. It'll be like a revision. Got it? So allocate little time to revise your previous class. Now coming back to creativity, normally we consider music, dance, drawing are the creative activities. But that's not the case. Even science and technology can be used to express our creativity. So today's video, we'll see what are the options that we have. One thing is, if you are below the age of 12, you have to learn a visual programming uh, system called Scratch from MIT. If you search MIT Scratch, you will get the link. You need a laptop and a browser, which I think most of the students have. So you access MIT Scratch program where you can drag and drop and build applications, games. With Scratch, you can make your own stories, games, and animations. Let's start by grabbing a move block. We can click the block to run it. There are many other blocks to choose from. Check out the different categories. Let's go to the sound category and grab a play sound until done block. I'll snap this onto- On the left side, we have all the component blocks. We can drag and place it in the center. On the right side, top is the stage where you will see the results of your coding. Middle section is where you do the visual coding. This is as simple as this. You must definitely introduce this. The entire summer vacation, you spend half an hour, one hour every day to understand how to build applications in a visual way. You don't need to study any programming language and there are plenty of scratch tutorials available. If you want me to create a tutorial, please mention it in the comments section. So one thing every child below the age of 12 can study scratch visual programming using your laptop. Next important thing is applicable for all ages. That is 3D design. So you visit a website called Tinkercad. I'll give the URL in the description, Tinkercad, where you can design 3D models. In Tinkercad 3D, there are ready to use shapes, which we can place and resize them as per our needs. We can join different shapes to make anything that we want. So this is very easy to start. You can build complex shapes with this. So you will know what it takes to build a 3D object. It will also improve your geometry skills and improve 3D visualization skills. And eventually, if you are getting a 3D printer, you can also print your own objects. So it's very exciting, very creative. So learn 3D design. So anyone can learn. It's very easy to use. Again, you need a laptop for this. Next is electronics. So if you're above the age of 10, you can start experimenting with simple electrical circuits and electronics. That is also from Tinkercad. You click on the circuit section. You can place a battery, place an LED or light emitting diode, connect them, put a switch. Then you press and light will come on and slowly we can build circuits without soldering, without buying any parts or anything, just using your laptop. In Tinkercad circuits, you get the parts section on the right side. Let's place a battery, a resistor to limit the current and an LED and a switch.
once they're all connected, press the simulate button to activate the circuit. Pushing the switch will turn the LED on. Like So learn coding using scratch, learn 3D modeling and also begin your electronics learning. All these are very easy. There are plenty of videos and if you want me to make simple tutorials, I can make them. Please mention it in the comment section. Now another thing, across India, there are lakhs of schools and all these or most of these schools conduct science exhibitions. So what happens normally is parents hurry during the last days of the science exhibition to build uh, projects. So they don't get time to buy things. Most of the projects end up like a chart paper explaining things. But instead, why don't you spend little time during the summer holidays to prepare proper projects for your school's science exhibition? Isn't it a good idea? Think of science exhibition ideas. And also I'll provide a link to our company's website. If you want to create some project and if you want to know how to do it, you can contact my company for free assistance. Another very important thing that you must introduce your kids to during the summer holidays is swimming. It is absolutely essential. So find the nearest swimming pool and find their summer camp swimming coaching so that we ensure that every child knows how to swim. So let's spend the coming summer vacation in an exciting way, learning and upgrading without burdening ourselves. Isn't it a good idea? Think about it. And by the way, do well in your exams. Wish you all the best. Also, please like and subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye.